Oh, that sword will continue to uh, spin indefinitely, but the skewer, the grapple, the repulsor, points of control, especially around that OS and center map. Here we go. Gonna send you use the game three as the momentum is the big question right now. Sika gonna patiently try to play for this overshield, but he's got Snake Fight roll two in front of him. Snake Fight's got the overshield in hand, and maybe just a little bit of a lack of focus and prioritization on that overshield exactly on the side of Ascend. It's gonna allow Snake Fight to be the victor Ooh. of the combat loop here. Now he's gonna be aggressive with that. The overshield might be gone, but the pick is in. The grapple being used to quickly relocate to the flag. The flag on the move now. And this is what you worried about when you saw a CTF from the Sentinels. These guys are some of the best CTF players in the game. And they oh already my. had that flag on the move across that oh. way. Snake Bite turns the corner before you can do any damage. You got some teammates there, though. Here comes the pinch from Ascend. They could get oh. the stop. Respectful delays it. Three go down, and now it's up to Royal Two coming off respawn to try and defend it. And Ascend are not going to let that happen. They get the return with an opportunity to counter cap here. No way. That was that must have been a frame perfect run at a snake fight, not skipping a beat. He was just barreling through, bobbing and weaving as he did it. He managed to get it right to the end zone. And what does Ascend do? They shut him down last second. Looks like this flag won't go through as well, though. Sentinel stabilize. They find the defense, keep things at the 0 0 scoreline. But what a fast way to kick this off. Probably too late to say it, Wes, but uh, the way Sentinels got in there with, sorry, the way uh, Snake Bite got in there with the uh, the grapple, he timed the slide over the ledge with the grapple. That's a uh, tech I don't often see. I hope we see more of. It was so good by Snake Bite, but it was even better by Ascend to understand the situation. We know how strong of a Halo 5 team this Ascend roster was. And the big thing for me was Halo 5 gameplay, especially CTF, a lot of it revolved around overextending. Something that Catalyst CTF once again brings into the Halo Infinite story for CTF is that overextension story heavily, right? You can stop caps if you're able to overextend in the right manner. Ooh. Something Ascend are going to be very strong at, you would think. Benefits them to keep this at a 0-0 game for now, but looks like they've given up an another overshot to the hands of Snake Bite. It's Sika that's able to stop the flag. As he eliminates Snake Bite with that flag Ooh. not getting on the move, and Sika just stopped this flag run by himself. Ascend, no doubt, very quick on the map. Like you said, overextending key to victory, the success in this one, and something they do very well. What I'm curious to know is how well do they communicate with each other also? Let's see a little listening with Ascend. Can I find There was another one like Verkas side, I think. This one, they are spawning cars, Nikki. One guy going cuts. Verkas right now, lethal. Verkas, two guys. That's back, that's back. Wenti, Wenti, Wenti. Two guys, Verkas. Two guys, Verkas. Two guys, Verkas. Look at me, look at me. Trying to, I'm trying to run. Three, 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 I got one. Nice, bro. Two, two, two. Milk and my. Nice, Philip. Looks like on mic. Sound for him. Perfect, perfect. I'm gonna get car. I'm gonna get car control. Cars on me with Kira. I'll show him what's going on. Car. He's waiting on car with Kira. I'm just gonna slay him. Doing cars two again. It didn't die, bro. It's one shot of Kira. Okay, Daphne, Lichen. Watch Daphne. Lichen never died on car. Nice. Kira, can we? They're car up and they're car. We're pushing our car, jump as well. They're pushing our coward, I think. Yeah, our coward will screw again. Dead. Nice. I'm going to our car. I'm going to our kid. Watch the snake bait, our kids. He's going to get down now. He's low, he's low, he's low. He's going to get some coward. Copy on me. Hold on, pal. Stop peeking on me. Can't see him. Can't see the guy, coward. Which one? Oh my god, two guys that flag, bro. They go in their car. He's me, two cards on me. Play right, play right, bro. I can't, bro. I can't. Oh, we can't. We can't again. Car 2 is going on coward, our coward, snake bait. Two guys are cowed, two guys are cowed. No, one guy are cut, one guy are cowed, one guy are cowed, one guy are cut. I'm here, Mike. Oh, yeah. Let's play this, they're gonna be playing for this. Yeah, 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 we're trying to get this. Let's push this, man, let's push this. Wait, 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 I can't screw. Wait, wait. Okay, if you twitch. Okay, I'll screw you. And OSP, OSP is going off top IV, I think. OSP is going off here. Yeah, I'm in. Mike, I have a screw here. Yeah, I'm in. I got some nail on him. Yeah, no OS left, no OS left. Two guys up here, two guys up here, sweet. Hello, man. Nice, but wait, 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 don't die on him. Some clean, coordinated comms here coming out of Ascend. They don't step over each other, and they seem to be making big plays as well. They already got one flag on the board. Forced to play some defense here, though, Wes. Forced to play D. They do have the lead, though. And it does look like that defense has stood tall so far here. They do lose a couple of members, and right now, I mean, Ascend, they, they're getting outslayed, but... The objective efficiency, something's starting to benefit them right now. They've been able to 
hold a lot of these flag runs, but here comes another one. Can they get the overextension to be the same storyline right now? Lethal trying to cut off some of the overextenders oh. here. He does just that with a little help from Royal 2. A phenomenal job by Lethal to cut these players off, and that's going to do it. This game's going to be tied up here momentarily, even if you get a kill on the snake bite across the map. He's going to punch it in. Great shots, but you need to focus on what's going on in your own base potentially because Royal 2, after picking up that kill, already looking to get another flag on the move. The remainder of Ascent still overextended in the meantime, though. Hopefully they can combat this. You got Respectful up front. He fell off the map, though. He's done, thanks to Lethal. Defensive kill coming in here. Thanks to Snipe thrown, though. Frosty looking to get the pick up on it. Make oh. it a double. That's going to force Royal 2 to rotate to get back to it, but he doesn't have the help. And I love the slide attempt, but he'll get cleaned up. Seca finds him. That 1-1 one, one tie will maintain. OS about to spawn up here as well. And it looks like Ascend with the grapple and with Respectful's positioning. They get a good opportunity for it. Yeah, it was Unless honestly it such an yeah. impressive play there from Snipe trying to get that two kills. Once again, another player steps oh. up, stops an entire flag run by himself. But these individual plays, you wonder how long they can keep up, right? You wonder how long Sentinels are going to allow these opportunities. Right now, though, Snipe John with what feels like is a sense real first overshoot of the game. He's got everybody in front of him. He's able to get a kill. A lot of attention onto him as well. What can the rest of us send do? Well, it's looks like move. Sentinels needs to cut off the flag. Yes, the uh, priority number one, lethal with a kill. On to Sika, that'll slow things down a bit. Hopefully give Sentinels some time, but they don't have time for it. What a grapple rotation. Just catching the end of it. Respect will oh punch my. that one in confidently. But the slays coming out of Sentinels could, get, could give them an opportunity to counter. Yeah, they all have every opportunity to counter, but this is what we've seen such good moments of a sin throughout this game of, right? This is where they've been able to stop these opportunities from, from Sentinels. They're such a good team at stopping these flag runs. Unfortunately, it was up oh. to Legend, it seemed, and Legend, he gets taken down. So this is going to be a counter cap that turns into a an actual capture and ties the game up 2-2, two to two, but a sin still feeling like they're going blow for blow right now in game mm -hmm. four looking to push this series to a game five despite the tie you could say dictating the pace on this one is a sin yeah still got work to do still got time to burn losing fight center map here too lethal roll to get their pick snake bite with a massive survival there that's lethal with the helping hand from across the map does get the kill and that gives sentinels the opportunity to push up once again here straight nade not sure if he shot the nade or tossed it either way lethal gonna take his time He's having such a massive impact on Sentinels' game so far. Sen Lethal yeah. has done so much to keep this at a 2-2 two two game right now. And when you do that with players like Snakebite, Roll2, and Frosty on your team, usually they're going to show up eventually. But three were just down momentarily. It's didn't get around the sways. And they're going to have to battle for this overshield in their favor right now. Oh. There's no way. Lethal. Makes another play, gets a double as the last guy alive, denies Overshield from going into the favor of Ascent. And look at this, Legend was in the enemy base pulling a flag as well. So if you think they get that Overshield, that could potentially have been the lead right there going to Ascend. Lethal makes another play to shut Wait. that down. He's been such a crucial piece to this puzzle. I was about to say, do they know Legend is back there, but he just died and they found him. With the numbers advantage, Sentinel's looking to capitalize. Frosty with another, gonna leave Snipe Drone by his lonesome. He's now down for the count, respectful with a trade. Sentinels with the numbers, though. Look how quick Ascend get back across the map, though, as they rotate through Repulsor side. I believe that flag might be pulled, though. On the side of Sentinels. And it's going to come down to a battle at the base here to stop this. Sika with one. Legend with another. Multiple dying on the side of Sentinels, but they still punch that flag in. It's going to have to be a counter cap. Snakebite almost gets one. That would have been massive because that would have made this flag run a little bit weaker on the side of Ascend, but it's going to be a Sentinels overextension story. Can they do what Ascend has been able to do throughout this game in order to stop this run? It does look like they've been able to pick up a couple of kills. Roll 2 is on the return already, and they've stopped this run. Apparently, Ascend ran it towards the respawners of Sentinels, and Sentinels cut that one off. They pick up the kills, they hop the return, and now with 2 minutes and 30 seconds on the clock, this has been a very chaotic game. Where flags have been pulled left and right, but do we see Sentinels start to turtle up a little bit? Do we see them start to play this clock a little bit more? And how can a Sin break that setup if that is the case? They gotta, they gotta win fights. That seems to be the difficult thing here. Uh, you know, not just the gap in the scoreline with 3-2, to two, but you look at those slays. And Sentinels starting to pave the way in this one. Royal 2, by the way, he's 22-10. and 10.
And what's the man holding? He's holding a skewer. This could be deadly. Unless he gets naded, of course. Those hallways, right? So deadly as well. Legend. The player to watch from game three. He's going to get the overshield. This is going to be their moment. The last overshield of the game. It's in his hands. And they put it to use. Might be one of their last opportunities to do it, Wes. Minute 30 on the board here. Ascend Force to play this perfectly. No spot Frosty. One player back base. That's Snake Bite. He'll slide in for it. Two dead already. Doesn't get the trade as well. Numbers advantage Ascend. The flag pulled to maybe tie the game right here. They got to play it perfectly. They blocked the spawns this time, so it's going to be an overextension from Sentinels, you think? They're still dealing with players in their base. It's up to Lethal and one other member of Sentinels. They're trying to get here, trying to deny this from going in, but the flag cap is too fast. Okay. Frosty can't get there from top middle. Nobody can cut it off. And with a minute left, Ascend used that overshield to get the cap. But this is what you risk. Actually, it's respectful. He stayed at Sentinels' base. Right. He's got this flag on the move, but in the meantime, he lost his entire team. They're going to run this flag themselves in a respectful and a very difficult situation. He's going to have to get a lot of information for his team, keep this flag alive, and this is going to be a bit of a flag standoff, ships in the night situation. And a beautiful way to close the game as well. Oh, my God. Oh, ends. lethal. No, the whole team being wiped here. That flag moving, and with 30 seconds left in the board, Sentinels, they plant it in. Ascend. They've got one shot. They got one push. And Sentinels, you know they're going to make it impossible. Snipe drone trying to get there. 16 seconds. Grapple's going to help close the distance, but you got to get the kills. And Good. unfortunately, when you lose two teammates, you find Snake Fight. That's not the answer. Snake Fight closes the door on this series, but Ascend looks strong, just not strong enough. Sentinels will win this in a three to one fashion.